Hey BJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. And as always, comment down below what you guys would like to see next, or if you just wanna pop down there and say hello, I will be commenting on as many of you guys' comments as I can. And as always, like I say, if you liked this video and you wanna see more like this, be sure to hit that like button so that I know that you like this and you wanna see more so that I can do more. So, before we get started, um, I got, well, I guess I have some news for those who care. Um, I have just gotten the go-ahead to make memberships on my channel, and I don't know how successful that will be, and I have not set it up yet. I am doing that today after I'm done filming, but I'm obviously going to try to do it so if you guys are interested in, let me know what you guys would like to see you could even tell me you know the price that you guys would want it set out what you want the perks to be just help me out because I'm kind of struggling <laughs> but if you guys have any ideas and if you're interested do let me know down below so I know if I should start it or not so today I am doing a famous versus underrated <clears throat> excuse me sign shop review so I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last one I did was Peachy Babies versus Glittery Slime. So that was a long time ago. But I noticed that you guys keep commenting that you want to see Unicorn Slime Shop and Mush Slimes. It's not both of them. I apologize. I was going to do those two head on against each other, Famous versus Famous. But I think Mush Slimes live somewhere else. If you guys know where they live, let me know. And their like checkout was really weird. So I like I wanted to like check into that, but I didn't have time because I really wanted to order because I haven't ordered in a while. And I know you guys probably want to see more slime shops. So <laughs> today is Unicorn Slime Shop versus Cat's Craft Slime. And this is kind of inspired by Courtney Wool, if you guys watch her. Um, she does, like, slime showdowns where she'll pick three slimes from each shop and, like, pin them against each other. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. And they're pretty much, you know, like, what she does, kind of the same texture. Um, sometimes I'll probably do the third round as, a, like, a wild card round of each one or their um, bestseller round, something like that. But for the most part, at least two of them will be the same texture or very similar so that you can see which one is better. And I will say normally it would be like I'll show, you know, one slime from this shop first and then one slime from the next one. Well, to explain it just very quickly, Cat's Craft pretty much makes her slimes to order because you can pick your own scent. So hers isn't going to come in for a while and I don't want this one just sitting around for the next week or two. So I will be showing all of these and scoring them and then I'll show Cat's Craft slimes and score them and then their overall scores and then obviously we'll have a winner. So going into the packaging from Unicorn Slime Shop, everything was packaged really nicely and nothing as far as I know is out of the ordinary at the moment. They of course sent the little, um, oh, what is that called? Like the little, I don't know, the receipt thingy. <laughs> um, and then of course the slimes that I got and then their business card right here which is awesome. It's very, like, um, simple, but it covers all the bases, which is really nice. You know, you don't want, like, I don't know, like, a whole book on it, I guess. I don't know how to explain that, but, um, anyways. <laughs> so, obviously, the slimes are here, and they're all bubble wrapped, and there's bubble wrap around the box, so I think that's awesome. And then he sent candy and borax which is actually quite a lot I think for only ordering three slimes so I think that's awesome so here are the three slimes that I ordered and they're all obviously in screw top lid containers with the um, name of the slime on the side and then his slime shop sticker on the top while it is very simple just like his um, business card I actually really like the labels because, I don't know, something about, like, simplicity on stuff like this just, I think it looks great and I think it's neater, but that's just a personal preference of mine. So before I get into the very first slime, I do want to cover some rules that are going to be in this. So when I do these slime showdown type of things, of course, I will be pitching the slimes against each other. So like I said at the beginning, this one's different. So if this was a different one where I've gotten the slimes around the same time, you know, I'll show this slime and then I'll show the next one and then, you know, compare the two or whatever and we'll pick pretty much which one wins. I'm 
I think that's how I'm going to do it, but if you guys would rather have it be like a point system like I'm going to do in this one or just, you know, which one wins, kind of like how Courtney does it, let me know which one you guys would rather have. But I will say nothing about the packaging will be part of this. When I, there's going to be something that I do later on, which is going to be one of those like brutally honest, like I do 100% honest, but if I if you see brutally honest, that means I'm going to be so nitpicky about everything. And I know people don't like that, but I thought it would be a fun concept. But in this, nothing about the packaging will be in this. It's just the slimes, but I will be kind of nitpicky so I can really choose who wins. So the first slime we have is Chanel number two, and I think this is one of his best sellers. I think think don't quote me on that I, I follow him on instagram but i'm not very up to date on his stuff but it is a really cute color and i'm chanel is a perfume company right i think yes yes um but it's a really nice pink color and it is a thick slime So overall, this slime's actually really nice. Now, just me personally, this is my personal, like, preference. I'm a little disappointed in this scent because it is, like, a very generic bubblegum scent. And I honestly thought it would smell like perfume. But I, I can see why you wouldn't scent it like perfume, too. But it actually, it's really nice. It could be stretchier, but it is still stretchy, especially for the thickness that it has. And really nice for bubble pops. And overall, really nice. It's kind of basic to me for the price because it is a thick slime and I've obviously had better. So I think I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. The next slime is called Nutella Marshmallow. And I was pretty excited about this one because... I'm one of those people that's like obsessed with Nutella, but this one is really beautifully marbled like um, There's like several different colors of brown in here, and then there's of course the white Oh, right, and then there's this on the back. I'm slow <laughs> And then there's some like chocolate um, Sprinkles on top So I actually really enjoy this one and the scent actually like it smells really good so when I first smelled it it was like really sweet chocolate but then like I smelled it more and I smelled some nuts and I smelled the marshmallow and then I smelled it again and like it smells pretty much exactly like the name like I can smell the Nutella I can smell the marshmallow the texture is pretty much like a marshmallow like melted marshmallow it's amazing and I actually, like, thoroughly enjoy this one. I don't know why I keep saying actually. <laughs> Overall, this one is going to get a 5 out of 5. The last one from Unicorn Slime Shop is Baja Blast, and I was definitely excited for this one. I have not ordered a jelly slime from someone in a hot minute, <laughs> so I was so excited to try this one, and I love the color. Like, it's so vibrant. Like, I love this one already, and I love, like, the there's, like, pineapple on top and blue sprinkles and, le uh, I almost said lemons, limes, and I used to work at Taco Bell, 
in Baja Blast was one of my favorites to drink while I was on break. I was so obsessed with it, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm officially obsessed. Like, the second I touch this, I knew it was going to be great. It is such a thick jelly slime. It has to be probably the best jelly slime I have ever, like, touched. <laughs> it smells great. Now, at first it didn't really smell like Baja Blast to me, but now it smells like tree sap. <laughs> Mixed with Baja Blast. I'm laughing at myself and my stupid nose. But legit, smells like tree sap and Baja Blast. I almost said tree blast. <laughs> but this one is so nice. I, oh, oh my, I love this one. Like this one blows me out of, out of the water so much. I legit want to give this like a 10 out of 5 if I could. I'm going to keep it at 5 out of 5. But like, oh, it's... It's glorious, you guys. I am obsessed. Moving on, here's the packaging from Cat's Craft. And this package took a while to get to me, so this is a completely different day than Unicorn Slime Shop because his took five days from the day that I ordered and Cat's Craft took 13 days from the day that I ordered, but hers are handcrafted, so she has to add the scent since you get to pick your own scent, which I think is really cool. And so she pretty much has to make it almost from scratch, I think, besides the base. If you watch her on TikTok, which she does have, um, you'll kind of understand what I'm trying to say but it did come pretty fast considering that's what she had to do so yeah so inside the package at the top she has the extras and then the add-ins for one of the slimes that I ordered so there's candy in here and some extras that I will show and then in the packaging she has some packing peanuts on top and then the slimes wrapped underneath so in the extras baggie there were quite a lot of things and more than unicorn slime shop even though I've ordered from I ordered three slimes from each shop, but like I said in um, the beginning of this, it's all about the slimes, nothing about the packaging or anything like that. So in the package, there was this, um, I always forget what this thing is called, like the invoice of your order. And then she had her business card, which I think is adorable. I love the cats on the front. And then of course the slime care instructions in the, in the um, inside. And then she sent borax and then instructions on there as well. And then this is for one of the slimes that I got. And then she sent some candy, um, this little cat like, I forgot what these are called, but I love these and I love cats. So this makes me like super happy. And then another like little cat paw, which like squishes like <laughs> these extras are so legit. So here are the slimes I got, and they are all six ounces. I will mention when you see the prices, they are very similar to Unicorn Slime Shop, but his were eight ounces and hers are six ounce. So hers are more expensive, but it's kind of interesting, I guess, because she does have free shipping on her website and she had 15% off. So all the prices that you see will be with free shipping and 15% off. And they were still around the same price, just a little cheaper than his, but I would say hers are definitely more on the expensive side, but this isn't about price either. So that's just, I just wanted to mention that. So getting into it, the first slime that I'm going to review for her is Cookie O Thicky, and I chose the scent to be Oreo Cookies to go with the theme of the slime. And it is a white slime with a bunch of black micro glitters and then some white and black like little um like Oreo things <laughs> like to represent. If you guys have ever had um like the Oreo cereal, it looks just like it.
So I will say, um, it's not, okay, I'm not trying to, I always try to make sure I don't sound rude, and I'm trying to be not super picky, because like I told you guys, I'm going to be really picky in some videos that I'm going to do just for fun, um, but this is kind of generic, like a very generic thick slime, there's really nothing that pops out to me, um, and then with the Oreo scent, it's literally like all the Oreo scents that I've had that just, the glue really, really takes over, and it sucks because it's a really good Oreo scent. But I think for the price, this one would be just a little too basic for me. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. This next one is called Kitty Cake, and I... Um, chose cherry for this scent and this one honestly I got mostly because Courtney got it um okay so obviously this like slime um showdown thing is inspired by Courtney um if you guys have probably watched her she's pretty big in the slime industry I think and she did a review on Cat's Craft um a while back she's actually done two on her I think and she got kitty cake and I think she chose cherry too and it just sounded really really good so since then, I knew if I ever ordered, I'd do cherry, so that's why I chose it. And this is, like, really, um, cute. It's kind of weird because, like, if you see it on the picture, it's like this. And, like, I keep thinking it's a whole macaroon, but it's not. It's half, but anyway... This slime overall is really great. I do wish the cherry scent was more sweet. Like, for some reason, I thought it would smell, I don't know, like a cherry dessert or something. But it actually smells more like, if you guys have ever had, like, cherry, um, like, popsicles or kind of like cherry, um, oh my gosh, what are those things called? Like, not cherry medicine, but, like, the, um, things that you, <laughs> I'm, like, not even on point today um like those hard candies that you have for sore throats whatever the f heck you f freaking call those that's what I'm trying to say um but it I personally think that's what it smells like but like you guys know I don't take off for scent so I like it and it's definitely a cherry scent and it's really strong so I enjoy that the clay doesn't take over and the slime is really sizzly really nice it puffs up very nicely it spreads and there's really nothing wrong with this one so definitely five out of five. The last slime is Lots of Dots, and I chose coconut for this scent, and it is still kind of bubbly, but I do understand it. She did have to mix in the scent right before it shipped, and it got here, I think, within three, four days, so I could definitely understand that one. And this one, I was so excited for. Like, it's so pretty, and she makes her clear slimes look so good, so I am excited.
This slime, you guys, is really great as well. It does leave some residue, like in the creases of my fingers and under my fingernails, but um, most clear slimes do that. But this one, honestly, is really, really thick. I'm actually surprised it leaves residue because this thing is, like, super thick. And, um... It's not the stretchiest in the world, but, you know, you kind of give and take with clear slimes. And this one's just absolutely beautiful. The scent reminds me more of, like, coconut shampoo with almost a hint of chocolate. So, kind of like a Mounds bar. I don't know. But it still smells really, really good. But um, I think I'm going to rate this one. It's really close. Probably, like, a four and a half out of five just because of the residue like it's probably under most of my nails already um which is kind of annoying but it is a really beautiful sign four out of five or 4.5 out of five but this one is still amazing so with that unicorn slime shop wins by half a point you guys it is so so close and honestly even though he won by more points i'm I don't really know which one I liked more because I personally think Catscraft had better ideas and just letting these sit, like uh, these two, okay, Baja Blast and Nutella Marshmallow take weeks to deflate the tiny amount that they had inflated, which is very annoying, but that I'm not sure what the heck, maybe he puts something in them that just doesn't let slimes deflate, I have no idea, but... I don't know, this one's like really close and if I could give it a tie, I really, really would and honestly, I think that's where I might leave it even though, you know, technically by the point system he won, I really think this one just ends in a tie. So you guys let me know how you liked this video. This is my first slime showdown so I was kind of nervous. That's probably why I forgot so many things in this video and why it was so freaking long <laughs> because I forget stuff and I ramble too long. But let me know who you guys would like to see next in the next Slime Showdown or if there's other slime shops that you'd like to see in certain videos. Or if you guys could give me any ideas for the um, brutally honest videos that I plan on doing, I would love to hear some suggestions there. But with that, I am signing off and I will see you guys in the next one.